and welcome back. Just recently I did the best budget makeup. Let's do the best budget skincare. No hanging around here. You know me, I love a high street find and I've been looking at a few brands that I hadn't previously looked at properly closely before. More fool me. And then also some other brands that you know I love that have got new active ingredient led skincare. Let's jump straight in with something that blew my mind at how good it is. Check this out. This is the new Simple Calming Moisturiser. I put it on my uh, stories on Instagram, follow me at Nadine Baggett because I tend to post most days. I absolutely love this. When I put my heating on about three weeks ago, my skin just started to feel a little bit dry and you know me, I don't like heavy creams and this was sent to me and it's fab. Why do I like Simple? It's unscented for a start. It's also an icon within the UK as being a great sensitive skin range. And I'm loving the new packaging, really cute. Um, it's a shaky, little shaky bottle and it's an unscented, really lightweight fluid. Let me show you, there you go. So it's really nice, so it's all skin types. I tell you where I would use it. You know I use my Indeed Hydration moisturizer and they also have the Hydrolon moisturizer. Well, I would use that in place of that. So it's basically a really lovely barrier repair function, unscented, really budget friendly moisturizer. It's in a tiny little size, so it's perfect for travel and it would suit most normal to dry skin types. And if you just keep it on hand for when you feel like, sometimes you get to three o'clock in the afternoon, your skin just feels a little bit dry. It's a great one. It's a mixture of um, omega rich and uh, organic hemp seed oil, but been put in a really nice, lightweight, easy to use formulations. When I say to people, I don't like using oil on my skin, they always go, Whoa, why? I don't like oil in its pure form, but if a brilliant formulating chemist has taken that oil, taken the omegas out of it, taken all of the active ingredients out of it and put it into a lightweight, easy to use formula, count me in. Thumbs up simple, I really like what you're doing. Now let's move on to a brand that you know I like and I always keep an eye on because I think they're disruptive and really interesting. The Inky List have a tranexamic night treatment for pigmentation problems and redness. Now, what is tranexamic acid? Tranexamic acid is a prescription drug that is normally taken orally and is recommended for women after they've given birth, if they have fibroids, if they have heavy periods. In fact, for anybody that might have a bleeding problem or a disorder. And that's not something I've ever taken. In fact, when I used to have my periods, I used to have the lightest periods in the world that were incredibly painful. And a lot of my friends, however, have all given birth or have had fibroids or have had heavy periods and quite a lot of them have taken tranexamic acid. However, in the process of realizing that it can control capillary action, um, they noticed that it obviously has effect on the skin and that was tested orally. However, they've also noticed it has an effect when it's used topically on the skin. And what it does is it controls redness and the delivery of pigment to the skin. So this is 2% tranexamic acid. And in addition to that, it's got, uh, she said quickly looking at the side, acai berry, which is a vitamin C sort of type mimicking antioxidant. And it also has 2% vitamin C as well. So what you've got is you've got an antioxidant, you've got the tranexamic acid at 2% and vitamin C at 2%. Now, in America, you can get tranexamic acid at 4%. However, in the EU, for some reason, we've limited it topically to 2%. This is well worth trying if you have pigment problems. The other place you'll find tranexamic acid is in the new SkinCeuticals pigment um, serum. And I think it's an ingredient list that I, I suspect is gonna become super hot in 2020 because a lot of women suffer from pigmentation issues and vitamin C works well, licorice works well. However, what you really need is a combination of ingredients. And I do think topical tranexamic acid is one to watch. But certainly at that price, it's well worth trying. The other thing that the Inky List have done is something that's really interesting. Well, by the way, let me show you what that looks like, that tranexamic acid. I do love their little pots, look. Little airtight containers, and it is a clear, easy to use gel. You, it's got a slight silicon in it. So what they recommend is that they use your other active ingredients first and then put that on top. Uh, but it does go in really quickly. It's a nice product to use, but it's it's got the silicon in it. It's not designed to be used during the day. Sorry, I just dropped that bottle down there because obviously what will happen is if you use it during the day, it might have a tendency to peel under your foundation. Next, the Inky List have also got a C50 blemish night treatment and it's making big claims here. I don't know how they managed to make these claims. It's saying a powerful combination of vitamin C and vitamin E, which reduces bacteria count on the skin. That's a big claim, Inky List, are you sure? Anyway, 
Uh, what I like about it is it's thinking about a salicylic acid, which is basically the active ingredient here in a new way. You know that I'm a huge fan of salicylic acid. If I get a breakout, if I've got an ingrown hair, if I've got a blackhead, on goes the salicylic acid gel overnight and I use a gel because it stays where you put it. If you wanted to put it all over, I'd recommend a lotion. I always recommend Paula's Choice 2% BHA. I'm not a fan of the liquid. I prefer the lotion, which is like a milky lotion all over. But for me, because I don't get breakouts all over, I just get one stonking, annoying one. I always prefer the gel because you can dab it and it stays in place. Well, this is a little bit like that, but it's got other active ingredients. So just looking at it quickly, it has a 2% stay in place C50 vitamin C. Uh, it has a 2% salicylic acid, which is obviously gonna help with breakouts, full stop. It's also got some um, anti-redness properties and it's got a lotus extract. Plant extracts. What I want is I want the vitamin C E combination, which is where the C50 comes from, and I want the 2% salicylic acid. So if you're finding that 2% salicylic isn't enough for you, and if you're finding you're getting the sort of blemishes that leave red marks, that's what this is designed for. So this will clear up a blemish and in the process try to stop or inhibit the production of the pigment afterwards. So if you get post-inflammatory, post breakout inflammation, so the sort of thing where you'd get, I mean, so many people get in touch with me, they go, the spots have gone up, this horrible red mark, what do I do? Um, I've picked my skin, we all do it. I've got a horrible red mark, that's what that's for. It's for those sorts of blemishes. So you're going beyond the salicylic acid and delivering a skin brightening, pigmentation control, redness control property. Very clever, Inky List, I like it. Um, I have not had any huge breakouts recently, so I haven't had the chance to test it, but, According to the Inky list, of the Inky list, it's well worth trying. Also, they're so reasonably priced. Well done for getting into boots. Um, other things that are interesting and exciting. Indeed, I've got something called Exfoliate 2. Guess what? It's basically like Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. At a time, do you know what? I still really like that product. I never recommend physical exfoliants. I never recommend scrubs to anybody. If you're going to use something, this is a micro fine powder that basically dissolves in water fairly quickly. So you get a mild, a super fine, mild exfoliating action, physical exfoliating in action. But it gives you that, it's a nice one to use if you've had a full day of wearing makeup or you feel like you've been particularly sort of humid and sweaty under your makeup and you just feel like you want that extra step. It's a really nice one if you're gonna go for it with the Foreo or the Clarisonic with the cashmere brush head. So essentially what it is, is a dupe for a Dermalogica daily microfoliant. Personally, it's the only physical exfoliant I occasionally use and I like it. If you've got younger, slightly oilier skin prone to breakouts and blackheads, it's a really good one. So basically it's got rice bran extract, which is exactly what Dermalogica was. And in fact, you know, the body shop used to do an amazing rice bran exfoliating powder. Uh, and it's got hyaluronic acid in. This has also got pineapple bromelain enzymes. Hello, gorgeous. Little Yogi's, oh, little Yogi's just joined me. Hello, Yogi. Hello, you don't need exfoliating, do you? Um, it's, uh, it's bromelain, which is the pineapple enzyme. Now, so what that means is if you leave it on your skin long enough, it will help get rid of dead skin cells. Do you know that enzymes work differently from acids? Acids, like glycolic, lactic, salicylic, break the bonds between the skin cells. That's how they break those bonds so that the dead skin cells can be shed. Enzymes actually digest the dead skin cells like the enzymes in your stomach that digest your food. So it works differently. So if you're going to use that and make the most of the enzymes, I would leave it on your skin for two to three minutes. So sort of use it, leave it as a sort of slightly sort of white cast on your skin, clean your, clean your teeth, and then you'll get the benefit of the bromelain too. Uh, I've been sent the new Avain Hydrants Aqua Gel. And the reason I like it is because it's a no mess, no fuss, three in one product. And they're saying you can use it as a nighttime moisturizer. You could use it as a leave on gel mask. You could use it as a daytime moisturizer. And if I sh open it up and show you that it comes like this, you'll know what that is. So that is a highly concentrated form of hyaluronic acid and actually sodium hyaluronate, the salt of hyaluronic acid, plus glycerin in a beautiful lightweight gel. Reasonably priced, lovely to use, great for anybody that isn't sensitive to scent. Avain, you're better than putting fragrance in products. Really, 
there's no there's no reason why you would put pro, uh, fragrance in that it's got linalool and limonene in it i think i'll check that but if that was unfragranced i would be slapping that over every inch of my skin however if you don't have a problem with fragrances go for it it's a really nice product it's a nice one for anybody with slightly oily or younger skins and you're thinking or even an older person with oily skin and you're thinking i want something lightweight that delivers moisture without oil and is easy to use and do you know what i don't want to overthink i want to use the same product morning and night go for it because you can always add your actives in after as well you could always add retinol in and use that you could always add vitamin c and use that there you go Avain, please stop fragrancing your products. Finally, you know, when I mentioned the amazing new makeup product, oh, I'm obsessed with the Avon 5-in-1 Lash Genius Mascara. Oh, so good. Anyway, that link is in the budget um, makeup video. I've got it on. This is one coat. Oh, it's so good. It's the best mascara I've used for ages, probably since Bad Girl Bang, and that costs so much more. Anyway, I thought I'd have a look at the Avon skincare, and I want to start with something that uh, I like. It's a 1.5% hyaluronic acid. It's, oh, oh, droppers. <laughs> Isn't it funny how the biggest beauty company in the world are late to the game of active skincare? But it reaches millions of people and women who can't get to shops, so I'm all for Avon. There's the hyaluronic acid. It's quite a thick formula, which I haven't got a problem with, but it dries beautifully. It um, absorbs into the skin in a second, no stickiness, no tightness, which means it's a nice formulation. It's actually got a little bit of glycerine in there as well. So you get that sort of hit of hyaluronic acid, but you don't get that sort of stickiness. It's, it's a nice product. It's one to use if you're already an Avon fan and you're looking for a hyaluronic acid, um, go for it. Uh, personally, obviously, I'd always rather use my Hadalabo because it's reasonably priced and you get twice as much product for the same amount of money. Um, mildly tacky, but not too bad. Now, also, I feel like it's got a hint of fragrance in it, but I've looked on the inky list and I can't find the fragrance. So it's not an unpleasant fragrance. Again, I don't understand why skincare companies that have actives in fragrance their skincare i really don't um and then they've also got a vitamin c product now the annoying thing about this is they've put 1.5 percent on that they haven't put a percentage on this but if i tell you that the l-ascorbic acid is the fourth active ingredient in this you'll know it's pretty high up so it's probably sitting at around five percent maybe ten percent i don't know uh but there is no percentage on it but i think it's well worth looking at because it's even at five percent it's going to be quite a high level it's going to be a nice one to use and again it's avon if you live somewhere and you can't get to the shops or you're housebound and you can't get to the shops and you want to try a vitamin c and you don't know which one to try avon is a nice one to try it really is okay so let me show you what it's actually like so really a nice product uh sort of semi-opaque glass bottle airtight of course because it is l-ascorbic L acid so it's an active form the most active form of the vitamin c and then it's a clear serum so it is designed to be worn every single morning um it's silicony it's got glycerin in it so it does actually hydrate but it is when you first put it on it feels slightly oily slippery silicony which you might not like if you're used to using drunk elephant or you're used to using skin suticals then you're going to be used to a much lighter weight sort of goes on couple of seconds sinks in formula this is much more hydrating and gives much more slip which some people might like in winter um when i originally felt it i was like oh oil oh i don't like that and then actually i went back in five minutes later and thought actually that's quite nice it does need a little while to sink into your skin however if you're looking for slip before you apply a heavyweight foundation it would be amazing it would be really amazing so it takes a while to get into the skin but although i don't know what percentage it is yeah, fourth on the inky list is pretty good for a vitamin C and it is the active form of L-ascorbic acid. It's not a derivative to make it water soluble so because it's a it's a sort of oil silicon glycerin based formula. So again interesting the fact that Avon are now doing hyaluronic acid and vitamin C means that they finally get it. So there you go they are my brands to look out for interesting new actives interesting new ingredients interesting new formulations kind of a few dupes to look at on the high street i think for the first time in ages thanks to brandon and the ordinary skin care disruptors are taking over the high street who knew that simple could make such a brilliant basic product uh 
<laughs> indeed why spend the money on Dermalogica when you can afford that? Avain doing a really nice gel formula that you originally would have only seen maybe two or three years ago in a high-end product. Two obviously really interesting disruptive products from the Inky List and then also Avon. Finally realizing that for the first time we want active ingredients that work at a reasonable price. Do you know, I was talking to Jo Jones the other day, my wonderful friend and beauty hag, and she said to me she'd done a deep dive into the beauty industry um, and sales because obviously it's a, it's a, I mean, it's a growing except it's also a contracting market. It's growing because there are new SKUs and there are new brands, but actually some of the traditional brands are having trouble making ends meet on the high street because it's tough, you know, there's not a lot of money around at the moment, which means the growth is here. For the first time in 2018, sales of makeup stilted. So we were over buying endless new palettes and endless new nail products and endless new foundations. There's only so much makeup you can have. What was growing skincare? What was really growing was mastige skincare, this area of the market that I'm most interested in. I'm telling you honestly, 20 years ago, that would have been Helena Rubenstein, which actually is back in the UK, but only available at Harrods. That would have been a Helena Rubinstein formulation. Five years ago, that would have been a doctor formulation. 10 years ago, you would have only been getting things like this in a clinic. It's an exciting time for skincare, and it's what keeps me motivated to tell you about new products. There's only so much skincare you need. Trust me, you do not need a 20 step routine. But if I tell you about a product that's reasonably priced that you can put into your regime, maybe to replace something else, maybe to target a new problem that's not going to break the bank, it's well worth trying. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. What new high street products and brands are you loving right now? Makeup and skincare, let me know. All the product details will be down below and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing.